Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good day. Hello to all you periscopers throughout the world, wherever you may be. My name is Carl Dallas and I want to talk to you about how the very wonderful Periscope video streaming service, which I'm using at this moment, can be improved. Periscope is undoubtedly the success of the century, but it has some serious failings which we're trying to address. The figures of that success speak for themselves. Four months after it launched on March the 26th, 2015, on August, 20, on August the 2nd, Periscope surpassed 10 million accounts. That equates to over 25 years of watch time live every day. It is now localised in 29 different languages. It's not the only game in town, of course. There is also Meerkat, which was launched a month, month ahead of Periscope. Like Periscope, Meerkat is big business, attracting over $12 million in funding. So, what's not to like? The big issue about Periscope is that it is not available on any of the billions of desktops running variants of the Windows operating system. It can be run on Windows via an Android emulator, which is a dodgy workaround at best. There are several other issues with Periscope, some of which are being dealt with. For instance, at first, the app could only be used in portrait orientation, which is what I'm using at the moment but it has now been addressed so far as the iOS version is concerned. Another problem I'm having, which uh, you may not be aware of, but the Android app has a tendency to mirror image. So what is streaming is, is, is uh, shown left to right instead of right to left. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. Here's some words, and you see they're back to front. My face is also back to front, but it's just as ugly both ways. Anyway, uh, yes, now when the app begins to broadcast, by default it streams from the rear camera. Switching from that view to the front racing camera, which is what I had to do uh, when I started this broadcast, uh, has to be done while I'm on the air. It gives a rather amateurish opening. And there's no zoom or macro ability which would be useful. And it would be good if you could actually incorporate uh, images from from your PC or, or Mac screen. Of course, you can point the camera at the screen I'll show you how you can do that. Let me just go back, change change to the back rear camera. So now there is the screen. And by the way, isn't that interesting? It's not actually fl uh, mirrored left to right. Anyway, that's back to me. So all these uh, issues are why we're working on a Periscope clone called Upscope. That's capital U, capital P, S-C-O-P-E. Uh, yes, somebody says, as it's free, we can't complain. Well, I'm sorry, we can always complain when things don't work as they should do. So anyway, we've set up a crowdfunding site uh, which is called uh, http colon slash slash bit dot ly forward slash upscope funding u p s c o p e funding uh, to help fund the project to actually produce a version of Periscope that will work on Windows that will not mirror flip the uh, Android screen. Yes. Uh, Never stop complaining. Somebody agrees with me. Never stop complaining and making stuff better. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. 
So anyway, uh, this will be appearing hopefully on uh, on Twitter, and I'll be putting it up on on YouTube as well. So we're getting lots of hearts. Thank you for for watching. I'm going to get on with my morning's work. I'm going to see a wonderful film this afternoon. At least I'm, I believe it's going to be wonderful. That's the 3D IMAX version of Everest, which I'm seeing at the National Museum. <laughs> I must stop smoking that stuff. Uh, the National Media Museum in Bradford on the IMAX screen. And I'll probably come in tomorrow and tell you how good it was or otherwise. So anyway, keep periscoping and keep complaining. And perhaps if the people at Periscope uh, actually deal with some of the issues I've mentioned, we won't have to bother about doing a Periscope clone. But if not, Upscope will be the answer. Now let's just see, I've got a message here. Uh, oh, how much are we trying to raise? We're starting with $50,000. If you put in $10, $10 uh, you get access to early versions of the program so you can help us in the beta process. Anyway, I'm saying goodbye now. Uh, what do I think about the Irish question? Um, <laughs> well, that would require a whole... Uh, I support a united Ireland, and uh, but I also support the right of Protestants to practice their religion without being bombed and uh, shot at. So uh, I, I don't really have time to go into the whole question of the Irish situation. Uh, my father was, was an Irishman, by the way, uh, uh, born of Irish parents in Glasgow. So I'm a sort of, uh, uh, I'm a sort of uh, Irish person myself, although I was born in Acton in London. And my name in Gaelic, if I can pronounce this right, is Carl O'Dolloch. So this is Carl O'Dolloch, otherwise known as Carl Dallas, saying... Goodbye, and keep periscoping, and keep complaining. Bye. Trying to stop the broadcast, and it won't. It won't uh, do it. Way. Hold on a second. Stop broadcast. Well, I don't know. Why my Android phone, when I click on stop broadcast, why it doesn't work? Help! <laughs> I think they've, they've done this to uh, prove how much we need a new version. Um, Well, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to uh, shut down my Android phone because none of the screen won't accept any of my clicks. I don't know if that's an Android problem or a Periscope problem, but one way or another it needs dealing with. Okay, anyway, uh, bye.